Hello everyone and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Engineers, which now turns out is very important. It was important anyway, just to get an advantage over other ships. But now if you want the anti-corrosive cargo holds, you will have to advance through two Engineers to get to Professor Palin. With the anti-corrosive cargo racks, you can actually carry the unknown artifacts without them corroding your ship, which we'll see in the next episode. So here we go then at one of the first engineers, where we're able to modify power distributors or our beam lasers. So let's take a look at the power distributor then. As you can see, there's many different options. But you can only do the blueprints for the ones where you have the resources. So as you can see there, some are in red. That one I can actually do. So here we're trying to increase the integrity on our power distributor to make sure it doesn't get damaged as easily. Unfortunately this will make it heavier as it's increased the mass. But hopefully we can cancel that out with the FSD upgrade. So I wasn't quite happy with that and decided to have another go. This time the mass wasn't as bad and I also got a secondary effect of a system recharge. So next we can look at the beam laser, which again there's lots of things you can do from making it a long range weapon to a short range weapon. But I again was wanting to make things as light as possible to get my jump as high as I can. And as you can see here, I had a chance of getting an experimental effect, but unfortunately it failed. You can however choose one yourself, but you will lose reputation with the engineer. So then that was one engineer, now we're going to go and take a look at another one. So here we are at Felicity Farcia, and as you can see, she can do a lot more than the previous engineer. And here we are able to increase our FSD drive. And here we want as high as optimised mass as we can get. Also, a low power draw won't hurt. And this actually put my jump up by about 5 to 6 light years. And I know that you can definitely get way more. But either way, this is very good as it is going to cut down my jumps. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the engineers. I definitely suggest that people go out and see the engineers. As it can improve your ship by a massive amount. In the next video, I'm going to be taking a look at how you get started on the Thargoid machine which will include how to get hold of an unknown artifact as well as an unknown probe and getting you on your way to getting the anti-corrosive cargo racks but until then I'll catch you in the next one